Hi, everybody. Thank you for waiting for us. We've had a little bit of technical difficulties, but I think we have it worked out now. So we'll just give a few more minutes to people that maybe have fallen off, maybe they want to fall back on. And how's everybody doing today? Hi, Stephanie. Hi, 708. Easy. Hi, Linda. Hi, Lance. Hi, Stephanie. Oh, hi, Linda. Hi, Christine. Hi, Janet. Hi, Kelly Higgins. There you are. The green are the members, right? Hmm? Green are the members, yes? Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Luna. Hi, Maureen. Hi, Wendy. Can you guys hear okay? Can you hear us? Can you see us? Can you hear us? <laughs> Thank you for the donation, Taylor. So things changed. I was getting ready to come here to do this, and I happened to call my son. He didn't answer. He called me back. I said, hey, buddy, how are you? Happy Easter. He said, oh, Dad, just getting ready for work. I said, yeah, me too. Getting ready to go on YouTube Live and finish my day. And he says, yeah, I'm working. He said, I go, do you remember? So, yeah, I remember. Before I even finish since. So when he used to go around, pick up the eggs and things like that, I go, yeah. So that's for the little ones, Dad. I said, okay. But even though he's bigger than me, taller than me, still my little one, isn't he? Things change. Things, things go on, so. Actually, I'm just thinking about it. it's the first time without the kids because we're working. Oh, my goodness. In San Diego, he's uh, going to college out there. So, But he's happy and he's doing good. That's the main thing and healthy. So got to thank God for that. And Taylor Four has a question. She donated to the channel, was briefly with John Burgo. He pulled back due to severe health issues. He's hermited daily. I what what daily? What was it that? It says hermited. Hermited daily. daily. Okay. I feel him with me. Will we reunite our relationship? I don't think at this point in time that you should put any contact, maybe only to the point of saying, just checking on you. If you need any of my assistance of any help of any kind, I'm certainly here for you. And then leave it on his plate, so to speak. But at this point, he's really not doing that well. I don't think that he wants you to see him or to be around or anything along down this nature. So I don't really think it's an excuse. But I think because of his illness and things like this, you have a very long time to wait. I think that about six months, in fact. So if I was you, I would start considering looking more towards going your own direction. Because even after that six months, I don't see that he's going to come to the table with what you want him to come to the table with. So it's a long, it's a long go. So I would pretty much move on, but I'd let him know that you're there if he needs you. Janet Morris, thank you for the donation. Uh, her question mm -hmm. is, hi, Chris. I have another certification test on Friday, mm -hmm. uh, April 22nd. Will you'll, I pass? Pass, you'll pass this thank test. You. And just make sure that you study for what's basically on the test. Keep yourself calm, mentally in your mind, put it as it's like a worksheet or something like this. Reason you get a little bit of test anxiety. A lot of people get that. But uh, no, I think that you will pass this and this will be done and good for you and congratulations. I'm so happy she's getting through it. Uh, Victoria Torado says, happy Easter, sir. I'm also without my family today. Thank you so much. And I appreciate that. Lizzie 708 says, hello, Chris and Michelle. This Friday is my birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Woohoo. Anything real quick to know about my future? Doesn't matter which area of life it's about. God bless and stay uplifted. Well, I think this year is going to be a good year from April on to, to December for you. So I think that's nice. I think I would really try to save back a little bit more money. And I think your spending has been a little bit much lately. So I would just hold on to that because your finances will do a lot better by the end of the year. Your health is good. And you don't get out much and you're okay with that. So your life is going the way you want it to go. So you're, you're on track and you're doing what you want to do. I can't say anything better than that. Uh, thank you for the donation. Cos, uh, Cos Ordinon says, Hi, Chris. Sending love and prayers to you and your family. Nice to see you again. Can you please tell me my mate Kate's life themes? Thank you. Mate Kate's life themes. Primary theme is humanitarian. Secondary theme, I believe, is rescuer. And that's really true to form. So those are harder ones. But the most experienced souls will have a tendency to chart in the harder, more difficult things to go through and to endure. That's for sure. This question is from Donna. Hi, Chris. Am I with my soulmate? And will I have kids with him? 
Uh, your soulmate's in heaven. Uh, your kindred soul is here. And yes, I believe you'll stay. And I do believe you'll have kids. But I think you're looking for kindred soul. I think so many people get confused about soulmate and kindred soul. So um, definitely, I think this is a green light and go. But can you relax yourself and have fun? Can you enjoy this? Can you not hold on to every word that he says and just realize that he cares for you, you care for him? And just remember, allow him to be relaxed around you. Okay, because <clears throat> you mind goes very quick all over the place all the time, as you know. Uh, Luna Lane, thank you for the donation. She says, should I change my physical therapist or my doctor? If you can, I would do both. And the reason why I say that is because doctors can be very good as psychics or lawyers or anything else. But sometimes you don't click. Sometimes you don't jive. Sometimes the language is just not there. And I don't feel that you're mentally getting out is what you need to get mentally as far as the healing as far as the physical and everything else it's all tied together in my belief so i would change out of it because i believe you could find the doctor and the uh therapist that will just click with you and then you really got the ball rolling at a much faster pace because you're on edge every time you get out of this and doing this you have questions and things are not answered and you're irritated just all the time and being there so I think you can find something that you're not as irritated and can communicate rather well with and get along with and help mentally and physically the healing on this at a faster pace. Kelly Higgins, a uh, member for 18 months. Uh, she says, I have waved and smiled mm -hmm. at my twin flame and he at me, but I had an appointment, had to go. When will we talk, please? God bless you and your family and thank you, Chris. I miss you. Oh, thank you so much. I think you'll talk in the next couple of months. Give it, just keep going the way that you're going and just be you. Just allow it to be in God's hands and to roll forward from that point, dear. Uh, Koss says, thank you. You're welcome. Um, Alfredo Velas uh, says, what is my mom's life theme? Primary theme, I believe, is rejection, which all of us can have a little bit of that. Secondary theme, I believe, is catalyst. Uh, Angel and Light, thank you for the donation to the channel. Uh, Nevis Molina, hey Chrissy. Lisa Long, Longo, where do you see where my love life is going? Will this be? Will it be this year? Be single for a number of been single for a number of years, and now I'm ready for a new chapter. Mm -hmm. I don't think that there's any long-term permanent like marriage coming in right at this point in time. I think it's going to be still a few years away, but it depends if you want to get out and socialize and date a little bit and kind of get yourself used to that and have fun, then, then you got that. But as far as the permanent one, I think it's a long time away. I think it's three plus years, like three and a half years or so away. That's not long comparison to a lifetime for me as a psychic, but I think it's a long time for you to wait when you're ready to do it finally. But like you said, it's been years. It's still going to be a few more years, but you're not going to be living out this lifetime alone. That's for sure. And that's the important thing, too. I think you have a lot to give, a lot to offer. And I'm happy that you're looking inward at yourself and making the changes that you can make yourself more happier with. So before you were so guarded with everything, and I think you've gotten bored of that, and now you're jumping in. So I'm excited to see the change in that. And it's coming. But like I said, three years, three and a half years is barely a drop in the bucket in comparison to a lifetime. And the fact that it's there, it's wonderful. Uh, Nicole Kelly, you can go ahead and send in uh, your chat again, and we could try to see if we can get it answered. Uh, super chats don't automatically mean that questions get answers, although we yeah, appreciate your... Yeah, time. there's no guarantee that uh, the super chats or the donations that the question will get answered. Now it does show up in different colors and it blinks at us and things like that. So we, our eyes will go to it and notify us a little bit more. And that has a better chance sometimes with her picking them or whoever's going to pick them at the time. But there's really just no guarantee. I have had people put on my comments, Chris, I donated, da, 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 da. I never got my question answered. It's not that we're doing it deliberately. It's just that who's ever picking the questions, eyes didn't focus on that. The, the, the people that are calling and asking the questions, the call and buying over here is going like this. So it's sometimes harder to stop it, read it, and, and get it done. We're doing the best that we can. But what we can do from this is that if you had a question answered, could you please refrain from maybe typing in a second question? Because sometimes people get two or three questions answered. Remember, we're trying to reach out and help as many people as we can. So the people that would do it two or three times, two or three questions, 
that takes away from someone else maybe having a question answered. So if we all can agree to just maybe get them one answer, one question answered per, uh, let's say per time that we're on per, per Sunday, you know, every three o'clock Pacific Standard Time, then that would be great. Lou Malin says, thank you for your answer, right on point. Um, Leo the Conqueror, thank you for the donation to the channel. Hi, Chris, prayers sent your brother's way. Thank you. And some something doesn't right feel right in my gut with losing my position at work would wouldn't be a mistake to leave my job current job question mark mm. you asked me this pretty much along the lines last week here's the thing i don't think you can really point the finger and prove what actually occurred here so it's it's a tough situation for you um you going back into the yeah, but you're going to feel like you're feeling now. You're going to feel really at odds. Uh, you can look for work elsewhere. That will fly be six, maybe seven weeks, and you'll find work. And then you got a new, fresh beginning. So you can do either or. I would probably stay and try to rethink it and just go with this. But you can do what you want. Either way, you got work. Uh, Gray Eyes and Taylor or Tyler, when will I get another job? As long as you're putting out the applications and things like this, and if you don't have a don't have a headhunter, I would suggest you get one. That will make the fastest return to you back in the field of working, which would be about ten weeks. If you're not going the headhunter way, you're probably looking at around maybe October. And that is for a job that you're used to doing and a job that you can make a career out of for a long period of time. As far as jobs in general. You can find work before the end of next week, but that's not something you want to spend your life in doing. That is. Uh, Michelle Blanc Pietro, uh, happy Easter. Do you see me staying in Florida or going back to New York because of my sons and loved ones? Oh, I think if you were back in New York, you would see them about as often as you see them now. But I think you have some guilt and you feel like you're missing everything. So if you can't, the best synopsis would be go back, stay a couple of weeks. You'll get your feel, get back to Florida because you're on a rock between a hard space. You go to New York, you miss Florida terribly. But when you're in Florida, you miss the family terribly. So go back, get your fix, go back to Florida. And I think you'll make it through this year with no problem at all. Then you can ask yourself this question next year if you want. And it's only a move. You can do that. But I'm telling you, bottom line is, if we have to throw, roll the dice here, I think you're much happier in Florida than you are in New York, hands down. Um, this is the name of their uh, YouTube name is Don't Be Scared, It's Just Wrestling. Their question is, will I be a famous, successful actor soon? Um, I don't know your definition of soon. So... Um, I think if you stick with it and you take more lessons and you do more, I think you'll get your parts. And these are bit parts, I would say, in the next coming year, about the end of summer. And then if you still stay with it with that, I think you've got four or five years more before something more larger comes along for you. It's it's a hard it's it's hard to get into, but I think you have definitely charisma. You have you have looks. You have intelligence. Um, so just. Keep sticking with it, but also have a job that you're doing and continue to do this as well. Star underscore moon. Thank you for the donation to the channel. Hi, Chris. My son, Adrian, will Adrian get a job with plumbing or stick with the hotel industry? Thank you. Uh, for now, I think through this year, stick with the hotel industry and then the plumbing comes in first part of next year. And then I think that there will be a big test of sorts. And I think that he will go into a partnership with another partner and start his own business so he's going to be growing in a very good direction and once he starts that the nice thing about it is i think he lands a big job and there's a lot of work that comes in and then he's got employees so there's a lot of changes coming his way but it's all positive and good i think he's ready for it but this year hotel stuff uh ruby says my mom is native american and has been trying to get enrolled in a federally recognized tribe will she get enrolled in what tribe don't know the tribe wouldn't even want to guess don't have a clue uh but i do believe yes we'll get the recognition that she does deserve i know it's a lot of red tape i wish i could be more specific and tell you exactly what is going to do it that part i don't know a psychic doesn't get all the ingredients to the puzzle or all the pieces of the puzzle we just get the end verdict and the end verdict is, yes, I believe that she's going to accomplish what she's trying to do. 
And I think she's got almost two years before that is recognized. And she's finally made it to where the point is she's happy where she has that. Kelly Davis, <clears throat> who's a member, my mom has been confused lately. Is she going to be okay? Yes, physically, yes. Um, confused, there is a lot that she doesn't remember right now and things. And I don't think it's Alzheimer's. I could be a bit of senile dementia. She should go in and get all that checked out. But I think her memory is not what it used to be. Sandra Barnwell. Hello, Chris. I'm thinking of moving to Hawaii. Should I stay where I'm at? No, I don't think I would. I would move to Hawaii. But here's the thing. I believe you go to Hawaii. You'll be there for about five or so years. I think that you'll love it. And you'll kind of be where you're at now. You want to get out of Hawaii. That's okay. Some of us are just, you know, a little bit of gypsies at heart. And I think you'll come back to the mainland then. So I think it'll be fine. Just roll with it. And you're doing what you should be doing. So enjoy the five years there. And then you'll go five years elsewhere. I think it's, I think it's a great thing to do, honestly. Uh, Ladybug, thank you for the donation in the channel. Uh, her question is, I'm going to Tijuana for a facelift in September. How is it going to go? Well, I mean, I understand going that direction. It's it's cheaper. Um, I, I I would do it in the states if you have the choice and, and a way of making it. I really would, and it's just because I think because of how particular that you are, I think you'll be happy with it, happier with it if you do the state side as opposed to where you're choosing to go right now. So if this was me, I would not go not go and. I would get it done elsewhere. Uh, if you go through with this, then I think you've got to be very much doing exactly what they say. And I'm concerned that you're going to be picking things apart once it's done. Uh, Rachel, are, will I ever get married or stay single the rest of my life? Well, I think you're going to stay single the rest of your life, but I do believe that you'll have a companion that will be a lot like a marriage kind of without the certificate or saying I do. Uh, when you live with a person and you share expenses with the person and you travel with the person, you do everything with the person, technically to me, that that's a marriage. Okay. It's like it won't even see the certificate and say, I do. So I don't want you to leave with the question thinking that you're going to be alone because that's not it. I believe that you'll have and be very much in love and very much a companion, but I just don't know if the ceremony thing is, is going to happen. But when something's good, why push it? If you guys are getting along, everything's great. Leave it at that. It's fine. Uh, Brandon Gray, thank you for the donation in the channel. Hi, Chris. Is this the job that takes me to California or is my hunt still on? I think your hunt is on, but I think it's a good job. And don't leave the job. I think you'll have another job that will come in, I would say, September, October. And that job will take you pretty much to Cali. Uh, but you're real, you're real good where you're at because the contacts and the people and the friends that you're going to make. So just stay put. And keep rolling with it, and you'll fit. You'll see how this just works out for you. It's really good. Christine Burton says, "No question, just a reminder to ask about Journey of the Souls audiobooks." So, Thank you for that. I did forget. I, when I looked for the Journey of the Soul audiobooks, I was going to go check that out, and I forgot. I did. Sorry. We have. I think we have those. I know. I forgot. Oh, okay. Well, now you know. <laughs> oh, remember, I will um, remember this time. A uh, Rachel Miller, hey, currently pregnant. Can you tell me the gender or boy, health? Boy, and and I believe healthy. Okay. Um. Ja, ba, ba, ba. You know when you're when you when, when you're telling me and I'm waiting for the the question, I'm waiting for the question. So, oh, Chris, hi, how you doing? I'm okay. I'm ready. Yeah. I am. Um. Uh, sorry, I, it's hard to keep up with all of these. Um, Look at the kitty cats. Okay. Uh, Lance Pater, or Patter. I think it's Pater. Um, hi, Chris. If she isn't in heaven, what is my soulmate's name? If she is, who is my life mate? If it's a name you can't pronounce, can you either describe her or tell me? I got it. It's a name I don't even know any, don't even have a letter to. Okay. I'm much better and more accurate with description. So I'll go there and do that. Uh, that would be auburn colored hair, dark brown eyes, height about 5'3, almost 5'4, and weight maybe about uh, just less than 120 pounds. I think thinner, uh, 
to the torso, a little bit um, more uh, from the torso down to the feet. And I think she's very intelligent, very upbeat, very happy, and uh, very well centered with, with moods, not really too much. You're more moody. And uh, I think that you guys will get along very well. Um, B. Row, just a um, Chris. God bless you and everyone. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Christina Lewandowska. Hello, Chris. Should I look for another job, please? Mm, I think you know the answer to this. You're not happy, and you haven't been happy, and. I think just the idea of doing this in your mind is grueling to you. So yeah, I, I would do that because um, I don't think you're you're frozen where you're at. There's not a lot of movement. And I think it'll take you probably the whole year to find a really good long lasting job, but that's not that long. But I know how frustrated and how aggravated you get with this. So just don't do that and put it out and keep working. Year will turn, you'll be in a new job that you like, that you have a future that you can make investments and even invest in. So. It'll be really good. Keep on with it. Um, B. Nutford. Hi, Chris. Happy Easter. It's Brenda Nutford. I'm just wondering what my son Nathan will do when he's finished with school or college. Well, I think that he'll take a little bit of time, which is about four months, and not do much of anything, but he'll pull himself together. Then I think he'll get out and get two jobs that has nothing to do with the schooling at hand that he's done. And then I believe he'll go towards construction. I think he'll go into project management. And I think he'll meet a couple of contacts that does really well with. So then he's making good money. And I think he'll be saving that back. I think his choice will be, do I get into a home or do I get into a business? I think he'll go to the business. And I think that that will roll and the home will come in later. So he's going in the right direction. I think he's uh, very much got it together. Just ignore the four months for finishing school because four months is nothing He's not going to just lay on the couch and do nothing but for 16 weeks is a relaxed time, let's call it. Uh, Stephanie Orton, thank you for the donation to the channel. Her question is, Chris, happy Easter. Thank you. Will you please tell me when we will move, we will be moving out of our current home? Uh, I think that will be as long as about October, November. And then I, I think it'll be really good because everything will be where it needs to be. Everything will be sorted straight, like spring house cleaning. Uh, everything will be right where it needs to be once the move is, uh, is transpired. So you'll have everything together at that time. That will make you feel so good because right now you feel like everything is disarray. And I know how that's other situations falling through, but you still got a lot of good coming in, hanging there. Lauren C. Hi, Chris. Been suffering bad with lines. When do you see me getting better, if ever? I just want to be happy and healthy. Well, my heart goes out to you because I know that this has really taken your immune system down to practically nothing. And I think that as much as you might say, I would also look at this pretty much like an exit point because mentally, physically, emotionally, you just you were just that far down. So you are definitely a survivor and a fighter. And yes, you're going to get better. It's going to take you two years from this point in time to come back to feel 100% normal. Uh, but that's 100%. And we just have to take it each day, each month, because it gets a little bit better, a little bit better. After you click over one more year of time and we're into the second year, going towards the end of the second year, the pace of you healing and your immune system getting stronger and you not getting sick with every time you step outside, uh, it gets better and better and better. The nice thing about it is once your immune system does build back, even though it takes two years, it will be a strong immune system. And also when they do test you for lines time down the road, just a little small little line of something will show up, like the lowest part will show up. So your immune system is coming at full force, which I'm happy to see. And we will pray for you, certainly. Mm -hmm. uh, D Prince. Uh, hi, Chris. Do I have a life mate? And can you describe him, please? Um. He's not someone you initially think that you're attracted to. Um, he's fair in skin. He's bald. He's got the rim hair. I don't have rim hair. I shaved the whole thing. I look like Mr. Clean. Um, but he's he's still a good looking guy. Um, he's not really tall. He's about 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, I don't I think uh, average. 
Um, a nice smile, smart, and I think he's into computers, and I think he's got a brilliant mind, and he's funny, and you'll enjoy him very much, and you will be attracted to him, even though you would check in these boxes I've described to you right now. But the funny thing about it is when you meet him and you get together, you can get back on the station and tell us how you feel. Uh, Renee Clark. Hello, Chris. Will my wedding be successful? I had to cancel it two years now because of COVID and really worried that no one will show up. Well, I mean, they're going to show up. Okay. But you're going to have from a hundred percent of what you put out, you'll have a return of about 70%. That's still really good, you know, and this is your day and you should be happy with it. You should enjoy it and have fun with it. So go along with it. It'll happen. Uh, Margaret Spielman, I love you and your mother. Thank you. Um, FK, thank you for the donation in the channel. Hi, Chris. Well, I hear good news from the college job I applied for recently. Thank you and many blessings. But yeah, I do believe so. It's just when you get there and you're working, it'll be a little bit tight feeling to you because there's a little bit of a click there. But if you just do what you're supposed to, and that is, teaching and helping the students at hand. You'll love the students and the work that you do. It's just the colleagues that you'll work around will be a little difficult to break into that over the first couple of months. So just weather that and we're in good shape. Uh, Linda Weatherall, she's a member. Her question is, could you tell me what happened to my cat Cuddles? I don't think Cuddles is coming back. And I would just like to, to stay with that. Uh, thank you for the donation, Gwen Snyder. Uh, she just sent a donation to the channel. Thank you, thank you thank so you. much. Um, uh, Mar M, I'm struggling with health issues. Do you see me ever getting better? Yeah, I, I think taking two steps forward, one step back, but you're still getting one step towards the getting better. So, um, you, you, your immune system is very weak. Um, we have to take the patients to build that up stronger. So you should get the things that you drink with antibodies and things like that that will help. Um, and just mentally program yourself, visualize yourself as getting better, eat right, get your sleep, and you'll you'll come back from this. You'll, you'll build back, that's for sure. Uh, Lizzie708, thank you for sending all your sweet messages to all the people on this channel right now. You were she just keeps sending I know, she's such a sweet very person. sweet messages. Thank you, Izzy. Thank you, 708. Thank um, you, thank you, thank you. Tyler Tarot. Hey, Chris, how will my career do in the next few years? Um, I want to make that plural because I think that you'll be doing a couple different things. I think good. Um, I think the one-on-one -on -one with people, that will be a little bit slow, but the other one I think will be going at a much faster pace. So needless to say, you'll be able to make all ends meet and be able to get through it all. So that's a good thing. Uh, Rami, Christina, thank you for the donation in the channel. Her question is single for a long time to raise my son. Now I'm ready to date, but have been unlucky. When do you see me see someone romantically significant coming into my son and my life? Thank you for sharing your gift with us. You betcha. But I, I think the dating thing with you, it's already turned a little bit as I'm tired of doing this kind of thing. So I think you're going to take a period of this year that you're going to kind of get your mode's going to go out of it, so to speak, which is okay. And then next year comes in and I think you'll be more where you're at about right now. So I think if we're looking at long-term permanent relationship, we're looking at around August of next year. But you can't really count this year that we're in because you're not going to do much with it. You're going to let it just kind of sit there, so to speak. And then next year it picks up. So you've got about eight or no eight or so months in this length of time from this August to August that you're actually really trying to get the ball rolling here. So you will find a mate, a partner that will get along with you and your child because anyone that didn't get along with your child, you wouldn't tolerate. You'd push right back out the door and stay alone. So I think that's taken. You know that. Emilio Medina. Hey, Chris, do you see me being able to buy a car soon? Well, yes, but are you willing to pay a lot for that car? Because you know what the times are right now. So um, you can get a secondhand car at this present point in time in the next couple of months. Yes, I believe and that will get you from point A to point B. And then you can always 
wait for things to calm down, look for something else. Uh, Tyler, Tyler Taro, that's hard to say. Um, he just said, thank you, Chris. He or she, I don't know. Thank you so much, Chris. You are spot on and yeah. thank you for the donation. Um, Tim Suckle, he's been a member for seven months. Sure. I've been a caregiver for my dad recently. Now that he is on the mend, I have applied for several jobs. Will I have any luck soon? Thank you and happy Easter. Thank you for all that. Um, it's, it's a little bit more difficult than that because your dad really likes that you're there. You're going to roll your eyes at me and say, I don't see that, Chris. Well, it probably don't because you are a very sensitive individual. You're very caring, very enduring, and you really have done an excellent job with your dad. Um, and even though your dad's not showing you, <clears throat> I, I think he does like that you're there. I'm concerned about the guilt trip that's going to come in when you find work. Don't take that upon yourself. You got to do what's right for you. Your dad's on the men now, and you really can get out and get work. I want to push you towards that and have you have the job that will present itself in the next month. I have more of the feeling that if you do it, you won't do it for very long and go back to doing that again. So I don't want you trapped there with that, okay? Because you got so much to provide and so many people to help. Just remember, your dad's okay. You got to do what's best for you. I hope you listen. Leanna Tullis, why did my mother get engaged to her boyfriend? I think your mother doesn't want to be alone. And I think she worries about what's going on with her life financially. And I think she feels that any type of companion is um, better than just being going through your life alone and being too old to find anybody else, which I don't think is true. I just feel that this is where she's coming from. So being that that is what it is, she's going to hang on to this very uh, ferociously because her fear about being alone and broke and not being able to make it is so, so much greater than the companion at hand. Uh, Vicky Poirier, is my husband Joe okay? He has been having seizures and no one can figure out why. Love your show. Thank you so much. Here's the strange thing. The seizures are there. You're telling me I agree. I think that they'll continue pretty much through this year, less and less and less. And then for some reason, however it happens, the seizures are just not around anymore. So what is that? I don't think anybody's going to have the perfect way of saying it to you. The system stopped. The system changed. He's not doing it anymore. It's obvious. It's not happening. And I think that's about as much as you're going to get. But if it's he's getting better, that's what we should focus on and care about. Uh, Gwen Schneider, who's my guide and who's trying to give me a message? What's the message? Donate. I donated, but didn't get to ask anything. Thanks. Well, you get to ask now and I'm answering now. There's no one around you. So <clears throat> I don't know who you think or who you feel that is trying to do whatever they're trying to do with you. <clears throat> you do have a guide by the name of James. But in order to get that going, you have to relax, first of all, and get yourself to the alpha state. So that means you have to calm your mind. So get into a room and put on some music, do that for a couple of minutes and get the question out there. I believe it'll get answered for you. And then we can start the ball rolling with your guide, but there's no spirits or entities or anything like that around you at all. So no one's trying to give you any message of any kind of any sort. Now you, when you're going to sleep or you're waking up in that twilight kind of thing, your lines can move a little bit. Radios can play a little bit louder. Anything that plugs in electrical wise can happen because we have electrical currents and that has energy. So I used to flicker the closet doors when I'd come in and come out. So that's not unusual. You just carry energy with you, as a lot of people do. Uh, Mindy, Cheyenne, glad I caught you on uh, live. Um, Me too. Is there a question? Nastasia Coates, uh, thank you for the donation. Do you see a change in my husband's work situation? Not unless he leaves it, and I wouldn't suggest to leave it. I know he's stuck between a rock and a hard spot because he just is miserable at work. So if we go like eight months out, if he looks for work, it's going to take him that long to find work elsewhere. But that's not what he likes to do. He doesn't like who he's working around. So as hard as it sounds, I would just put my head down and do the work that's expected. I mean, ignore everything else that's going on and just do that. And I think that others will just get the hint and it won't be that much.
fun to do. It looks like going back to high school, so to speak, and he'll just be able to continue with his work because even the other job, it's not going to be what he wants. So I wish it was a better answer, but that's the truth. Uh, Brooke Wilder, who stole my dad's money from the bank? I don't have any idea who stole your dad's money from the bank. I would look at the bank and how they may have like done something or filed something or registered it or something like that. I think it's internal within the bank. I don't think a family member came up giving me the money or something like that. I just, I, I believe it's some type of an error or some button somebody pushed or something like that. So in other words, I still think it's there, but you have to get to, to the bottom of internally what's going on. Uh, Nicole Kelly. Hi, Chris. Any messages from my loved ones on the other side? I'm missing them so much lately. No, we all want that. I mean, daily, we all want that. Yes. But look at your life. You have a healthy, long, prosperous life. I mean, they can see it. You've got a blueprint chart. They know it. They know everything you're going to do before you sit down to do it. I mean, they know everything besides time here, time there. 90 years of our life here equals 48 hours to them on the other side. So they can't miss us and they can be around us your family will kind of poke in and then they will kind of look around see everything's fine and off and running they go heaven's not way up in the sky it's only four feet up just within another dimension in fact losing my mom taught me so much that life is just not that serious it's really not that big of a deal we're on this earth plane we walk out of this earth plane from this dimension into another dimension and we keep on going so please don't ever put off a family's not ringing the bell over there for you things like that it's just uh, looking at the future of your life and there's no major crisis events and things like this happening keep in mind they got a lot to do on the other side they work over there they do things that they like they see family and friends from a lot of different past lives so they're busy besides it's only 48 hours for them from the time you're born to the time you pass that's not a long time so they don't have the ability to miss us but i think what you have to understand is that your loved ones are really not that far away, and it's okay to call on them. Heck, I call my mom a lot. My mom's actually with me more now than really when she was alive because nine months out of the year, she'd be traveling with the books she'd be writing or something like this. She'd be around three months out of the year. Now, my mom's not more than the only distance from me, and I don't feel like I'm doing it alone. So please, you're not alone. Your family's over there, but any particular message, you don't have any. But I want to thank you all for joining me on this Easter Sunday. Happy Easter, all of you. Love you guys. Stay uplifted and look for our next post. We'll be coming up.